Networking, Security, and Wireshark. Netprobe is a free and open source tool I developed to help users keep track of their internet connection 24 by 7. Installing it is easy and only takes a few minutes. Let me show you how. The first step is installing Docker. Now, Docker is a platform that allows you to run cloud-based or containerized applications locally on your machine. Docker is supported for Linux, Mac, and Windows, as well as a number of other platforms. So go to the Docker website, click on the install link that is relevant to your operating system and install. It will require a reboot of the machine. And once that's done, go to step two. Step two is to download the source code. See below in the video description for the link. If you're not familiar with Git and how to actually clone a repository from GitHub and it's a little intimidating, what you can do is, is click on this code button, download zip, and let that download to your local machine. Once that's done, extract the contents of the folder to somewhere on your machine and take a look at the files. Step three is to make sure Docker is running after you installed it. If you're using Docker for Windows or Docker for Mac, uh, you'll have this Docker GUI that you can take a look at and also make sure that at the bottom left here, you see that it is green, meaning the Docker is up and running. If you are using Linux or prefer to use the command line from a Windows terminal or a Linux terminal, you can enter the command Docker yes. And if you receive this output, it means Docker is up and running. Step four, we're actually going to run Netprobe. So from the actual folder, where you've stored your source code, you can enter the command docker compose up and then give it a dash D. Hit enter. What Docker is going to do is actually start collecting some of the elements it needs to build the application from public repositories in Docker. And once that's complete, we will actually have the application up and running and ready to use. Once you see that all five Netprobe containers have started, you can head back to Docker Desktop if you have it, just to validate that same fact that five out of five containers are running. And now we can access the application. Head over to your browser, type in localhost colon 3001, and this will take you to the front end. From here, the default username is admin, default password is admin. You can now set a custom password. From there, log, navigate over to dashboards, Netprobe, and there you go. You can see that Netprobe has started measuring your internet quality score, your packet loss, your latency, your jitter, and DNS response times. So a few final notes about Netprobe. Number one, you can access Netprobe from the local machine that you actually installed Netprobe on. However, you can also access Netprobe over the network to another machine. Say you have a machine set up just to use as a probe. In this case, I have one set up on this machine in my network called chocolate.local, and you can see it's collected stats for a period of time. Second point is that Netprobe is automatically configured to start up every time your computer restarts, and it retains the data through restarts. So the data that you collect, even if your computer goes down, it will resume as soon as you bring the computer back up. The final thing I'll say about Netprobe is if you'd like any help getting it set up or getting started or customizing Netprobe, please head over to the Discord. We actually have a channel for Netprobe and there's a ton of lively discussion with a lot of folks who've actually installed it and are starting to customize it to their own needs. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions on the topic we've covered, please join the Discord server where we talk all things network. Until next time.